Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will talk about linear equations in two variables. Ang target natin ngayon is to illustrate and write linear equations in two variables in a standard form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So guys, ito na guys. We have here the equation ax plus by is equal to c. And for us to say if the given equation is a linear equation in two variables, we have here if a, b, and c are real numbers, and if a and b both are not equal to zero, then ax plus by is equal to c is called a linear equation, a linear equation in two variables. So the first equation that I mentioned earlier, ax plus by is equal to c, is considered as the standard form. Again, standard form of linear equation in two variables, wherein I have mentioned variable a and b, wherein they are capitalized, uh, they represent the coefficients, again, coefficients of the variables x and y. The only variables that we have here is x and y. Meron tayong dalawang variables. At yung a and b natin again are coefficients, while your c is the constant of the given linear equation in two variables. So, a question dito, sir, uh, when can we say that the equations are examples of linear equations in two variables? First, siyempre, basic criteria natin, since linear equations in two variables, it has two variables. In standard form, uh, we can say na x and y. Another thing, uh, wala siyang um, variable sa denominator, well, negative exponent sa variable, at wala rin tayong variable sa radical. Okay? So, here are the examples of linear equations in two variables. So, at again, this ha, illustration lang yung ginagawa natin. We are defining, and you know, the standard form, which is ax plus by is equal to c. And right now, our next part natin is to give you the examples of linear equations in two variables. First example, we have x plus y is equal to zero. This is an example of linear equation in two variables. Sir, bakit po? Siyempre, basic. Meron siya two variables. We have the x and y. At the same time, wala siyang negative exponent sa kanyang variable x and y. Sunod, wala tayong variable sa denominator. Lastly, wala rin tayong variable sa loob ng radical sign. So definitely, example number one is an example of linear equations in two variables. Next, we have number 2. We have 2x minus y is equal to 8. This one is also an example of linear equation in two variables. By the way, guys, these two examples are already in standard form. As you can see, following the pattern, the first term is the x variable, the second term is the y variable, and equal to your constant. Now, these are examples of equations in standard form. Now, look at number 4. We have 4y is equal to 7 minus 3x. Sir, how can we know that this one is a linear equation in two variables? Eh, hindi po niya ka-pattern. Si ax plus by is equal to c. Okay lang yan, guys. As long as yung mga criteria natin kanina ay na-meet niya, automatic linear equation yan. Pero, hindi nga lang siya naka-standard form. Okay? Again, meron siyang variable x and y. The degree of the exponent is 1. Di ba kasi nga linear? Wala siya negative exponent. Wala tayong variable sa loob ng radical sign. Wala rin tayong variable sa ilalim sa denominator. So ang target natin ngayon, since this one is not yet in the standard form, in the next part of our video, I will teach you how to write linear equations in two variables in standard form. At ito na nga yan. We are given here the direction we write each of the following linear equations in two variables in standard form. Again, our pattern is to follow this. ax plus by 
is equal to C. We're in. Sir, paano po muli? Para ma-write mo siya, isipin mo nilang dapat na isolated si variable x and variable y kahit constant. Like this example. So, as you can see, ang magkasama sa left side ay dalawang variables while the constant or the constants are isolated. So, let's have number 1. 7x plus 5y is a, plus 25 is equal to 0. As you can see, um, the x and y are on the left side of the equation while 25 is not yet isolated. So, we need to trans transfer 25 to the other side of the equation. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, guys, ay yung step-by-step -step process o yung proper way. So, dito, for us to rewrite this kind of equation in standard form, we need to eliminate 25 here. Kailangan may eliminate natin siya dito, tapos mapunta siya sa kabila. So, what you will do is we have 7x plus 5y plus 25 minus 25. So, bakit may nag minus 25? If we will add or subtract a number that is an additive inverse of this number, it will become 0. Remember, ha? 25 minus 25 is 0. So, mabawala siya. Pero, following the properties, diba? Kapag nag-subtract tayo dito, ito, nag-subtract tayo dito, mag-subtract din tayo sa kabila. It will become equal to minus 20 or negative 25. And simplifying this, this will become 0. Mawawala na yan. And your new equation is 7x plus 5y is equal to negative 25. Ito mismo yung sagot natin, guys. As you can see, this is your first term, which is the x, second term, which is the y term, and you have a constant isolated to the other side of the equation. So, negative po yan. Okay lang yan. May nag-exist tayo talaga tayong negative numbers. Now, let's move on with item number 2. Now, guys, for item number 2, we have 4y, is equal to 7 minus 3x. And as you can see, guys, yung ating variable x and y are not yet together. Magkaiwalay sila. Ang kasama ni variable, ni variable x ay constant. Kailangan kasi itong x term natin ay mapunta dito. So, kailangan natin siyang may eliminate. Tama? So, what you will do is to add the additive inverse of negative 3x. And what is that? The additive inverse of negative 3x is 3x. Okay? So what you will do, dito, tanggalin natin ito, ah. You have 7 minus 3x plus 3x. In this way, kapag simplify natin sila, it will produce 0. Negative 3x plus 3x. Pero, huwag kayong magano, ah. Huwag kayong kakamali. Dahil, um, kung anong ginawa nyo dito, dapat mayroon din sa kabila. So what you will do, is we have 4y plus 3x. Kasi kailangan balance. Kailangan parehas ka rin add on 3x. And simplifying this, it will give you 4y plus 3x is equal to 7. Kasi magiging 0 na to. Pero, we're not yet done. As you can see, the first term is ax. Meron tayong property na pwede na siyang papalitin ng first ko kasi addition naman yan. You have to write this into 3x plus 4y is equal to 7. And this is now the standard form of the given linear equation. So, maglagay tayo pa itong example para mas dali mong practice. Let's have item number 3. Let's say um, you have um, negative x plus 2y minus 11 is equal to 0. Now, what's the problem here, guys? Unang-una yung constant. Pangalawa, kailangan positive itong first term. Again, kailangan positive yung first term. So, unang gagawin, I will remove negative 11 and I will transfer it here to the other side of the equation. So, what you will do is you need to copy negative x plus 2y minus 11, and to remove negative 11, kailangan mo lang mag-add ng 11 para maging 0. Is equal to 11 then. Mag-plus 11 tayo dito. 
Mawawala ito, it will become negative x plus 2y is equal to 11. But, as sabi ko sa inyo kanina, kailangan positive ito. So what you will do to make it positive is to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. And multiplying this by negative 1, ang mababago lang ay yung sign ng bawat term. So, kung ito yung negative, it will become positive. Kung if this is positive, it will become negative. If this is positive, it will become negative. So, the correct answer here is x minus 2y is equal to negative 11. This is the standard form of the third equation that we have given the linear equations in two variables. So, I hope guys na natuto kayo sa mismo video natin on how to know if a given equation is a linear equation in two variables as well as rewriting a linear equation in standard form. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Dawn. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!